Hello and welcome back to another instalment of Northern Coins and today we'll be taking a look at uh, three coins um, from three different monarchs. It's first one is going to be the uh, Queen Victoria. This is a one florin and it's one tenth of a pound. Just get my pen as well. And this is from 1887. Although this is the last year this was, it had Roman numerals on if you can see, if you can just work it out there, that's the thing there. I'll just uh, put this out, the way I worked it, worked it out, oops, so there, like I said, there's a bit of thought that goes into this, bit of research, I don't just cobble it all together, wing it, so there you go, that's how you work it out, so. As you can see, the MD CCC LXXXV11, and that's how you work out 1887. So, like I said, it's not just put, it's just not thrown together. It is, uh, there's some thought goes into these as well. Although, I do seem to say a lot of erms and as, as she must be a bay, keep saying, but. I'd like to see her do it as well. I want to see one of her videos, see how she does. So, it's a bit worn this one. Not fantastic shape. I would never think of getting this graded. But, it's a nice one. Uh, the edge is milled. It weighs 11.35 grams. Diameter is 30 uh, millimeters. Um, it has nine, sorry, 0.925 silver in there. It was minted in London. The mintage, I wasn't sure because all the figures I could find is 1.77 million, 903. But every time I went on to different years, he kept saying, so whether or not it was the entire mintage of Florence or that year, I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure somebody who knows a lot more than I do will let me know. Let's say the Florin or two shilling coin was first introduced in 1849 until 1967 so that, it, they are nice coins I did go and get or try to get um, the gothic crown but it had gone so I got these from Lad uh, from Landidno so I went to Wales the other week and I was able to pick uh, these coins up so it was a lovely time in Land in Landidno. I've got an hopefully the thumbnail is going to be a picture of Conway Castle if it comes up well. So I, w I tried to put them on my Instagram, but it just wouldn't load. But hopefully that'll be really nice. We had a really good time in Landidno. First time properly. It's what, probably in the last what eighteen months. It's probably the furthest I've been able to get out. And it was a gorgeous day as well. We had a good walk along the prom, onto the pier, and then we went into the town. Had a good walk round. Heard a lot of funny accents. She must be obeyed. Likes to drink. I was driving, so I couldn't drink. And uh, we sat down. And I actually heard a Welsh person order Ratatouille. And it's a bit of a... The way they say it is, uh, well, I'm going to try and say it now, Ratatouille, which was quite funny. I did laugh or giggle at that one. So, like I said, there was a lot of funny accents around there. Really nice time. And we walked it around for a bit. And we found a nice little coin shop. Some of the stuff was well overpriced. And... In another upload, I thought I found one of the Holy Grails, and my heart skipped a beat. Really did. So I'll um, I'll upload that in the next week or so. And anyway, it was uh, funner. It was only in a bargain bucket as well of coins, but I came away. But I nearly came away with a with a William and Mary coin as well, but unfortunately, it wouldn't come down in price. But I do like this one. I'll leave that there. And then we'll move on to the next one. 
which is, I've moved my paper, this is the George V One Crown from 1935. George V, he reigned from 1910 to 1936. This was a non circulating coin, valued one crown shilling. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, this is this. Yeah, my fault. I thought I was reading the wrong uh, thing. It has 50% of silver in. It weighs 28.28 grams. Diameter is 38.61 uh, millimeters. And this had a mintage figure of 717,269. And the fun fact about this coin is this coin was not included in demonetization legislation when. Um, Demonetization was in, introduced in 1971. It has been confirmed by the Royal Mint that the coin remained legal tender, having been remonetized with a value of 25 pence. Now, I further read that something legislation in 1993. So, I don't think you'd be able to. I'd never. I can remember using old money, but because um, I am that old now, but. I, um, I've never seen anybody use anything like this before. Like it's saying the obverse is an uncrowned portrait of King George V facing left. And the uh, reverse is an Art Deco rendering of St. George slaying the dragon. The, this is commonly known as the rocking horse so it's a nice coin really is a nice coin that the lettering oh sorry yeah there's lettering round it as well is that the right way no it's that way into it. yeah my greek uh, greek my uh, latin is appalling so i'm not even going to try to attempt to uh, to say the uh, the latin I'll leave it there uh, the lettering, George V, by the grace of God. Oh, sorry. That's the inscription round it. I do apologise. Please, uh, 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 my apologies. This is the lettering around the uh, the king. Uh, the lettering is King George, uh, king George V, by the grace of God, king of all the Britons, defender of the faith and the emperor of India. That's what the imp stands for the Emperor of England. India, sorry. Gosh, get it right. And then the lettering round the edge is an ornament and safeguard 25th year of reign. So this was the silver jubilee this coin was uh, to uh, commemorate. Sorry about that. If I could edit, I'd, I'd edit that bit out, but I can't. And the last one is a silver crown. This is the uh, Queen's father, King George the uh, Sixth, and this was in 1937. Silver, 50%. It weighs 28.28 grams. It has a, di a diameter of 38.61 millimeters, a thickness, and they are quite thick these coins as well, of 2.9 millimeters. This is a commemorative issue, coronation of King George the Sixth. King George V, and the same as before, round the edging. By grace of God, King of all the Britons. So, really is nice. And then round the, on the reverse, is Defender of the Faith, Emperor of England. God and my right. I'm not sure about my right, but um, anyway. And the edging, this is readed, this one. So I'm just what, I'm sorry, I got distracted. There's a squirrel just run across me at eye line. Sorry about that. So, and they're all facing, if you notice, all facing that, that way to the left. I'm missing Edward. There was another Edward there, 
but I doubt it I'll be able to get one of his coins. And obviously the Queen, if you notice, she faces right because alternate ways. So whoever takes over the uh, the crown next, it probably will be Charlie Boy. But if if not, it'll be William. He'll he'll be facing left again. So, but also as well, if you notice, both the queens have crowns on where the kings don't. But um, the the uh, I was going to say a funny story about uh, a mole being German, but then that got me into um, thinking regarding. Um, because they've been far too quiet, as we know, but they've been far too quiet for far too long, the Germans. It just got me thinking about a story when I was, uh, when I was a young lad, and I'd gone away with uh, a rugby team on the, uh, into, I think it was Spain, Spain or Portugal anyway, quite a few decades ago at least now, and we'd been on a heavy session the night before, so we're all on the beach, there's about 30 of us, and we're all got massive, massive hangovers. Anyway, we've been there about an hour or two, trying to get a suntan. And a load of Germans turned up and they were rowdy as anything. Swearing, they actually, I remember them swearing in English as well, which was, you know, really a pain. And they wouldn't shut up, these Germans. So we'd had enough. So we decided to um, rent a load of pedilos. They were right near the... Um, Near the near the uh, the sea, I mean, only a f about five ten yards away from the sea. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we rented about twenty twenty, maybe even all of us rented a load of pedalos, and we jumped in them. We sailed round and we stormed the beaches. It was like Anzo or D Day, Sword Beach, Utah, and um, we uh, attacked the Germans that way, and. They uh, fled. <laughs> so that was quite a funny uh, day that. And the cheers, I can remember to this day, the cheers from everyone around and the laughter as these Germans packed up and ran off. It was very funny. So anyway, um, what's your thoughts on these coins? They are quite nice. Really, I know I've given you a couple of stories there today, but anyway, I'm not that boring. So... These are really nice coins. I'm getting a few now, not many, but they are quite nice. Uh, nice with a bit of silver in it. Obviously, that's not silver. That's that's worth only fifty pence. That one, but these are worth a few bob actually. If you've got a few in your uh, in your collection. So anyway, this is Northern Coins. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this. And if you're not a subscriber and you have enjoyed it, please think seriously about subscribing. If you're still in two minds, watch a few more and um, then hopefully you'll subscribe. But if you stay right to the very end, I really do appreciate it. This is rather a long one for me, but um, I really do appreciate you all. Thank you and have a cracking day. Bye now.